get your letters every day. Hey, oh, man, mail, 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 It's like, it's like the Musketeers, and all of a sudden, Roy jumps out there to do the lead vocal. <laughs> I told you, I read every letter that is mailed here to the big show, and we, we appreciate you. And you can rest assured of that, even though we don't get to all of them mm -hmm. on, uh, on the radio. Okay, here's one. Uh, open it up. There's a copy, a picture of a mug shot mm -hmm. of Jeffrey Newton. If you've ever sent your mug shot <laughs> in a fan letter to the big show... <laughs> Well, look at this. Here's a copy of his arraignment waiver form. And a copy of your <laughs> arraignment waiver form. <laughs> so, let's see uh, what uh, Newton Jeffers charged with. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's, uh, what, what did I say it was? From Scott State Prison in Hardwick, Georgia. See, uh -huh. uh, DUI, fleeing, and fludging. Fludging? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Felony. Uh, aggravated assault, uh, no insurance, no tag, reckless driving. All right, let's go to the letter. All my life, won't you fight about it? <laughs> Dear John Boy and Billy, as you can see, you have received another letter from one of your captivated listeners. Mm. I wanted to write to let you all know that not all prisoners are mean and dangerous. Some are merely stupid. <laughs> After reading this, you will probably want to call Jimmy Spencer and tell him to look for a new nickname because you have found the real Mr. Excitement. <laughs> <laughs> My story begins on a beautiful July day in 1995. I decided it was too nice a day for work, yet too hot to fish, hmm. so I opted to relax in the air conditioning, watch some TV, and enjoy a few cold beers. Hmm. Several hours and about a case of beer later, I decided that it was critical that I replenish my beer supply, <laughs> and I was not going to be I was not going to let such minor details as not having a car or driver's license mm. deter me. Uh oh. <laughs> Someone was nice enough to allow me to use their nineteen seventy six Dodge that had no tag, bald tires, and a six cylinder engine to make my beer run in. Mm. Upon learning, I'm sorry, upon leaving the local convenience store, a police officer got behind me and hit the blue light. As you may know, large quantities of beer tend to raise the testosterone level uh -huh. while lowering the intelligent quotient. That's what I hear. <laughs> in the typical male drinker. Mm -hmm. So I decided the race was on. <laughs> <laughs> How did this go, you ask? Ooh. Well, not too good. <laughs> A 20-year-old Dodge with a six-cylinder and bald tires is not the car of choice for this type of activity. <laughs> but I figured what I lacked in horsepower I could make up for with my driving prowess. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, you've got to run with what you brought of to the course. track. <laughs> I jumped out to an early lead, mm. <laughs> but my competition quickly closed the gap. He attempted to pass me on the low side. He darn sure wasn't going to go high, uh -huh. but I successfully blocked the pass, and he had to fall back in line as we approached the mm. turn. Took the air off his spoiler, no doubt. <laughs> I lost it about halfway through turn one mm -hmm. and put her into the wall. <laughs> Actually, it was a ditch, but, <laughs> but it worked just as well. And I tell you, Spencer couldn't have done it any better. Mm. Ever the quick thinker, uh. I decided that this would be a good time for a foot race. <laughs> <laughs> so, I quickly put Plan B into action. How did this go, you ask? <laughs> well, not not too, good. too good. Being the beautiful day that it was, I was wearing flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not the ideal footwear yeah. for a race, yeah. especially when the participant wearing flip-flops is also drunk. <laughs> 
at the end of the foot race, I decided a wrestling match was in order. <laughs> Slambery. <laughs> but unfortunately for me, the Calvary had arrived by this time, mm. and they entered the match without being tagged. <laughs> <laughs> As you can probably tell from the mug shot, the wrestling match didn't turn out too good either. <laughs> However, I did feel somewhat uh, vindicated after I puked in the backseat of Dick Tracy's squad car. I really did. Now, two years later, I'm about to make it home from my beer run. <laughs> I have learned a few things from this, and that is A, never drive anything with six cylinders and bald tires, B, always wear a good pair of shoes, mm -hmm. and C, buy beer by the keg. <laughs> <laughs> you know the saying, life is short, play hard? Uh -huh. Okay, give my best to Jackie and Rayford, and tell Randy I hope he makes it back soon. This was when you were out, Randy. Yeah. I know how it is because I quite often missed a lot of work when I had lingerie in my mouth. <laughs> no, no, what? No, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Y'all keep them straight up there. Love you, mean it. Signed, Dale, Daryl, Walter, Richard Petty, Rusty, Austin, Bill, Irvin, Gordon, Earnhardt, Smith, Johnson, Jr. <laughs>